Your digestive system separates nutrients from waste, keeping you healthy. Last stop on the digestive tract, your colon, also known as the large intestine. Partially digested food enters from the small intestine starting at the cecum. The colon is divided into four main parts, the ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, and sigmoid colon before it nears its exit at the rectum. In this last act of digestion, the colon absorbs water and nutrients, including the soluble fiber pectin, potassium, salt, and the clotting factor vitamin K, back into the body. Vitamin K is made by bacteria in the large intestine, and it's essential in stopping bleeding. Contractions of colon segments, called Hofstra, push partially digested food through the colon. Colon cancer can interrupt these functions, but some patients experience early warning signs. When colon cancer is lurking inside, you can have symptoms of anemia, like feeling tired without any visible blood loss. You can experience nausea, abdominal pain, diarrhea, or constipation and weight loss. Bleeding is a symptom of colon cancer in the descending colon where friction created by solid stool moving past any growth leads to visible bleeding. One sign that you should see your doctor and you may need a colonoscopy, a procedure to screen for cancer. Drinking the colonoscopy preparation shake before the procedure is considered by many to be the most challenging part. It cleans out the colon so doctors can get a good view with their colonoscope. This flexible scope has a light guide for vision, a control body for adjusting position along the curvy road of the colon, and a biopsy valve for inserting instruments to take tissue biopsies and remove suspicious growths. The scope enables physicians to examine your entire colon, which is about three to four feet long. It can take pictures, identify, biopsy, and remove polyps all in one procedure. It can be a lifesaver. When colon cancer remains undiagnosed and untreated, consequences can be serious. Cancer can travel beyond the colon, reaching the lymph nodes, bloodstream, and other organs. Taking up residence in other organs decreases chances of survival. To reduce your colon cancer risk, eat a variety of fruits and vegetables and whole grains. All fiber and antioxidant rich, thought to be cancer preventive. Limit alcohol use to one drink a day or don't consume, period. Alcohol use has been associated with an increasing colorectal cancer risk. If you smoke, quit. Smoking has been associated with increasing your risk. And exercise often. It can lower your risk.